We had a nice clearing of the skies this weekend thanks to the storms, but the DEQ is pretty sure the smoke will be back and be pretty consistent through the fall. For this week's Hello Idaho, Tammy Tremblay talked with Optum Idaho's Dr. Dennis Woody about the impact smoky skies can have on our mental health and what we can do about it. I was um, thinking about this topic because I seem to be a little bit gloomy lately when I look outside and I expect to see those blue skies and they're not there very often right now. So uh, Dr. Woody talk with us about how that can actually impact our mood in inversion or those hazy skies. Well, you know that it, you ask a really interesting question, Tammy, and I think um, in looking at at the issue from uh, what's known about uh, uh, fire smoke in particular versus pollution versus uh, just fog or whatever, we do respond to a lack of uh, sunlight, blue skies and things like that. And typically over time we respond negatively. And if there are pre-existing issues associated with it, uh, it can make the situation worse. And it's important, you know, here in Idaho, we're experiencing a lot of the fire smoke from surrounding states and in our own state. The research about fire smoke specifically is really in its infancy. Um, it's pretty clear that you shouldn't be around a lot of smoke from a physical health standpoint because it will adversely affect your lung function. Uh, some of the preliminary research around fire smoke in particular suggests that it uh, may have an impact on the way that you're able to think uh, and uh, consequently on the way that you're able to feel. But it's not clear from a quantitative standpoint exactly what the nature of that relationship is. Certainly from a qualitative perspective, it falls into the same camp where you feel isolated, you feel uh, fatigued, you feel bored, or maybe your eyes itch, you get irritable. All of those things are variables at play when you can't go outside. So the situation deteriorates from there to where some folks get depressed and many folks get anxious. Trying to feel better, ultimately I think safety around your lung function is imperative. If you're in a very heavy concentration of fire smoke and you can't leave the area, you probably should stay indoors and use your air conditioning system to the degree that you can. Filter uh, the particulate out so that you don't run the risk of diminished lung functions. Uh, and like we've talked about before in other uh, episodes of Hello Idaho, uh, being connected with family, uh, trying to stay in touch uh, virtually if possible, so that if over a long period of time, you don't end up feeling isolated. You can talk about shared experiences or whatnot. Um, it's, it's a tough burden when you can't go outside because it's too smoky. Well, for me, it helps knowing that there is going to be an end in sight. We're not going to have the hazy skies forever. Yeah, and it actually helps you look forward to something like a rainy day uh, or yes. maybe a, thunder, a thunderstorm that will clear the valley, at least for a temporary period of smoke. And Dr. Woody says when the sky does clear, it's really important to go outside. If you can't seem to kick the blues when the air is hazy, though, it's important to reach out for help. Just talking to family can have a big impact, or if it gets really bad, talk to a mental health expert. For more stories focused on mental health, go to KTVB.com and click on the Hello Idaho tab. We're back with Olympics news after this.